Okay, today we're going to talk about processing static data off of a known control point. So the first thing we want to do is start a new project. We're going to use US Survey Feet in this case. And we're going to do our project settings. We're going to look at the coordinate system. I'm going to change this to Arkansas South. That's where this project is at. So, if we look at our geoid model, you can see we're using uh, geoid 12A, uh, continental United States. For our geoid model quality, we're going to use survey quality. We're going to OK that. First thing we're going to do is import some data. So there's couple ways we can import data. We can do it through this pane, through this folder, or actually I have a second screen set up with some data in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose three T02 files to bring in. There's one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. Okay, so we have three points in here. One of the things you'll notice is that these triangles, that this came in on 9, 10, and S4. S4 is our monument. 9 and 10 are our two points that we set with our GPS. So first thing we've got to do, because S4 was created with the here position, so the first thing we need to do is go over to S4 in our Project Explorer, look at the global coordinates. This is basically the here position. We're going to go to the properties. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change that to an unknown quality. You'll notice this little red ball down here, so I need to recompute the project. I'm going to hit close. 9 and 10, as long as I'm at it also need to be changed to unknown. I'm going to recompute that. Close it. So now everything is a circle and all unknown quality. And you can see I've got underneath here, that's all I have in here is the here positions or the raw positions for these points. So the first thing we need to do is go into S4. We're going to go to the properties of S4. And we're going to go in here and create a new coordinate based on a control file that I have. So I have a data sheet that has the good control on these points, on this, these control points. So you can see I've got S4. Here's the coordinates that I'm going to key in. Slide this back over to my other screen that you can't see. And I'm going to change that to a 21256. 79.813 and I'm going to change the easting to a 126.9992.798 next thing I need to change is my elevation if I go over to my data sheet I scroll up a little bit it says the elevation for that's 4, 397.32. Okay, so just to recap, northern should be 212-5679.813. Easting should be 126.999.2. 2.7. Elevation 397.32. Okay. Now we're going to create these as control. Once again, we have a recompute down here at the bottom. 
I'm going to close that. So now, S4 is my control point. If I go and look at the properties of it, we're going to see its control. We're going to see we have a northing and easting. 79.813, that's correct. 92.798, that's correct. 397.32, that's correct. Okay, so now I have that. So I've created this from a here position to a known position using my data sheet. So now I'm going to select this baseline, this vector line, coming from S4 to 10. I'm going to go to Survey. I'm going to say Process Baselines. As you can see, it's 4,500 feet across there. My horizontal and vertical precision look really good. My RMSs are very low, and it's a fixed solution. So I'm going to save that. So now, if we go look at point number 10 now, and we do a point derivation report, you can see it moved it 2.8 feet by 5 hundredths. In the vertical, it moved it 2.081 feet. So that's what, what kind of adjustment we just had in that point. So um, elevation-wise, we're almost 10 feet difference in elevation. So let's look at doing point number nine. So I'm going to say process baselines, number nine. Same thing, I'm a fixed, my horizontal precision, my vertical precision, my RMSs, 3,900 feet in length, I'm going to say save. So let's go look at number nine. If I go look at my report, it's going to tell me how much it moved. Elevation wise, moved three feet. Northing, moved two feet. Easting, only moved six hundreds. It's pretty good. So now then I have a baseline between these two. So I could check this and say, let's process that baseline. Let's see what we got. So there is what we have. Save. Let's go back and look. And you can see we didn't change it very much. A hundredth by five thousandths by two hundred or two thousandths by four thousandths. That's pretty tight. That was 9. If we look at 10, same thing. We've got minimal change and everything. So what we did is we processed this baseline, then we processed the other baseline, then we processed the two baselines between here and see what kind of adjustment we had on these two points after we had already put these two in off of this. So another thing we can do is so we've checked everything here. So let's just go ahead and do a network adjustment. So let's see what happens. We do a network adjustment. I want to hold it in the 2D. I want to hold S4 in elevation. And this is a ellipsoid height. So I'm holding the elevation in the 2D. I'm going to say adjust. And you'll notice that on point number 10 and point number 9, there again thousands on the adjustment because I've already processed it and everything's fit. So you can see we've got a pretty tight network going on here. So that pretty much concludes um, doing a static point off of a uh, off of a control point. I uh, hope this helps you and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to give me a call.